Hi guys, this is Ratchet Thrall, and we are playing Criminal Case Conspiracy, Case 43, Fields of Blood. Let's unlock Seeds of Destruction number 1, and we still got some unanswered questions as to who bribed Cody to set corn on fire and kill the deputy. Katria, we came to Springfields to find four necks, one of Rosetta's accomplices. But where do we even start looking? All we know about Fornex is that they went to university where with Rosetta and... Katarina, hold that thought. We have a new emergency. Even though the fire recorded may start or his core field is out, it spread all over the neighboring fields. The fire department says no one was hurt, but this is still devastating for Springfields. Corn is the main thing they grow here, and now it's all lost. So Cody Base is now responsible for destroying all the corn in Springfields? Mace was paid to burn his fields, but he claimed he didn't ask who bribed him to do it. Katria, I don't like the sound of this. Did someone mean to destroy all the corn groups? Whoever bribed Mace to start a fire, you must find out what they really wanted. Alright, Katria, we better get Mace to talk to us now. Katria, do you think I could talk to you a second? It's about Mia. She doesn't want to bother anyone, but I can tell the fight with her dad really shook her up. Katria, we have a lot on our plate, but I feel bad for Mia. She needs our help. Alright, Katria, let's go grill Mace to prison, then you and Gabriel can talk to Mia. Okay. Ah, oh, it's showing a fire. So what, is this this fire going to be the team of this new district, the main thing? Apart from looking for the four Dax? Okay, let's go first talk to Cody. Mr. Bates, you have probably heard the news. All the corn in Springfields has burned, thanks to you. Do you still insist you don't know who paid you to stop the fire? All I can tell you is that some random guy in a suit came to my farm. In a suit? I don't like city people. I never trusted them. It's never good when they start nosing around. Did this person tell you their name? No, but he called his boss as he was leaving. He said, the job is done for snacks. I thought it was an odd name, but then city folks are odd. For snacks. Four snacks, four snacks. Knew it. Did you say four snacks? Wait, could it have been four snacks? Yeah, four snacks. That's what I said. Katrina, this piece of person who wanted the court to burn was four snacks. Rosetta's old associate would come to Springfields to find. I don't understand nothing of that, man, but it's a god darn shame I never got to spend the money they gave me. It's still sitting in my barn. Katia, yeah, we have to go to that barn and find the money. It might lead us to Mr. Mason's visitor and to Fornax. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that Fornax had something to do with this. That he was the one to bribe Cody. Okay, let's go help Mia now. Mia, seems like returning to your hometown stirred up some difficult feelings. Is there anything we can do to help? Thanks for checking up on me, Katria. I don't know what to do about my dad. All I ever wanted to do was make him proud, but he, was, he always puts me down. He says I got him too big for my britches. I see. You know, sometimes it's hard for parents when their children fly the nest. I'm quite certain it isn't easy for your dad either. But I think I have an idea. Is there something that might remind you of your happy times? Well, my dad keeps an old newspaper clipping in his office of me and him. Maybe if he read it again, he'd understand. Excellent, Mia. Katia and I will go have a look at your dad's office. Okay. Well, your dad didn't seem nice to you and we encountered you with each other. No, let's first investigate the bar. Let's find that body that Cody received. I really want to know who the Fornax is. And also who are the other associates? How are we going to find them? What? 
for safe. What? What kind of safe is that? In shape of a cord. Well, there must be where Buddy is. Katria. Cody Bay said the bribe money from Fornex was still in this barn. Have you found anything? Oh, this golden cord is actually a big shift safe. Let's unlock it then. The money could be inside. Okay. Okay, now well, let's investigate Sheriff's office again. Okay, this must be the newspaper. Just like her daddy. And all I have to do is dust the cover. That does look like an old newspaper clipping, you're right, Katria. The title says, Just like her daddy. This could be the article Mia mentioned about her and her dad. Well, Katria, if you scratch beneath that title, we'll get a better idea what it's referring to. Yeah, what? What kind of crime did you solve? Okay, first let's unlock this corn safe. Let's find a buddy. And how's this going to open in the first place? Why is it a pink color? Katria, Hutch was right. There was money in that corn shaped safe. It's wrapped up in some pink plastic, but it's clearly a bundle of cash. You're right, this must be the bribe money from Fornax. We must say it to Kat to see if she can trace it. It's money. How is she going to trace it? And that's gonna take six hours. Now let's, let's dust this faded clipping. What does it show? Oh, that's cute. You're right, Katria. That's an old photo of Sheriff Locus. The caption also says the little girl on his lap is Mia. This whole article clearly means a lot to both Sheriff Locus and Mia. I'll take it back to my lab to find the missing text. Okay. And how long is it going to take you that? Nine hours. Nine hours to find the rest of the newspaper. Well, good luck with that. Let's first take a look at this buddy. Kathy, did you manage to trace that stash of cash to four Dax? We know it was them who bribed Cody Mace at the cornfield on fire. Well, I tried to trace the banknotes, but they were new, so that didn't lead anywhere. But that strange pink wrapper did turn out to be a useful clue. I read a comparison for this particular shrink wrap material, and I discovered that the only industry that uses this type of shrink wrap is Argy Business. There are only two such companies in Springfields, Argy Meadows and Green Foods. Green Foods and Argy Meadows? Yeah, those companies are big. They make everything from every sliced bread to rocket cow. But where does this leave us? You can't budge in and accuse people of bribery at arts without proof. Nor would they ever admit being in league with a convicted criminal. Great idea, Ktria. If Fornax reached out to Cody Base, maybe they also approached other farmers. I believe it might give us a useful lead. Okay, we'll see about that. And what about this newspaper clipping? Oh, Katria, the article that goes with the photo is so sweet. I had no idea that Mia helped her dad close a case when she was only five years old. 
You found an article about me and my dad. You already had the makings of a detective even back then. The article says that you helped solve a missing person's case when you noticed a hair clip near an abandoned barn. If only my dad could remember how much we bonded after that case closed. Don't worry, Mia. Katrina and I will take this article to your dad and have a chat with him about the old times. Okay. Let's first have a chat with our chicken farmer. Miss Lee, we discovered that a big Augie business firm has approached some of the local farmers. Did anyone from Augie Vitos or Green Foods come to talk to you? Yeah, everyone knows those big companies. They are always courting honest farmers like me. But I usually shoot them out the door. They never bring good news to the likes of us. So you didn't talk to any of their employees lately? A man in a suit, maybe? No, I didn't. But if you have business with them, be sure to attend the Springfield's Cattle Fair. Both Agri Beatles and Green Foods will be there. They love to pretend they care about small farms. Interesting. Well, we'll be sure to stick around and go have a board with them. You know what, Spectria? I want to give you a little something to say thanks for defending the little guy. We small farmers need all the help we could get. No, I'm not putting the hat on because it looks ridiculous. Okay, let's now talk to Sheriff. Sheriff Locust, we found an old article in your office, and we were wondering if you could tell us the full story. It's about you and five-year-old Mia solving your case together. Ah, that old thing. Well, if you want the truth, it's one of my favorite memories of Mia. That was back when Mia was still my little girl, when she wanted to be just like her old man. Now, she acts like I'm some old fuddy duddy living in the middle of nowhere. I always knew Springfields was going to be too small for Mia one day, but I still wished she would stay. You know, Sheriff Locust, I think Mia just needs to know that you are proud of her. Well, I was super proud the day she helped me find that missing woman. I remember giving her a little badge all her own. You would help me look around the office, find it, and give it back to her, Svenkatria? That's awfully generous of you. Let me treat you to a burger first. I say yes for the burger and for finding a badge. Look, there's something broken, but I can't pick it up yet. No, that's not it. Okay, now I can pick it up. Oh no, he's for the little plastic badge I gave to Mia is in pieces. Gosh, I hate for her to think I broke her badge. Can you piece it back together? Yeah, that's my expertise. I'm good at resolving, restoring things. Okay, let's restore this badge. Junior Deputy Mia. Yeah, that's what we need. That's it, the little badge I gave her. See, her name's still on it, Junior Deputy Mia. Katria, will you come with me so I can give this badge to my little Mia and apologize? Apologize for sneaking it to our investigation. Mia, darling, I'm awful sorry for yelling at you the way I did earlier. I'm a fool. 
Anyway, I get to give back your first ever badge. Oh, daddy, you still had that old badge. It was my greatest treasure and I thought it was gone forever. Oh, father, daughter. So you see that. Just because I went to work for Greensboro PD doesn't mean my heart ever left Springfields. You're the reason I wanted to join law enforcement. I know, honey. You make me proud every day. I just wish you could be a good cop closer to home. So the Katia, thanks for helping my family. Here's a little something for you all's widows, widows and orphans fund. Okay, I'll be sure to put that. I'm so happy that Mia and her dad are on good terms again, Katria. We have a happy ending at last. That is good news. Unfortunately, we now have new burning questions to answer. We discovered that Fornax was behind the fire Cody Bay started on his cornfield. The fire is out, but it destroyed practically all the crops in Springfields. But we don't know why Fornax wanted the corn to burn. We also know that Fornax works at one of the two agri business companies, either Agri Vitos or Green Foods. Agri Vitos and Green Foods are both big and powerful companies. If you want to accuse them of criminal conspiracy, we'd better find solid proof. Well, we do have a lead, Chi. We know that both companies will attend a local cattle fair. If you want to know what Fornax is plotting in Springfield, that's our best bet. Well then, Katria, you know where to go next, to the Springfields Cattle Fair. The sooner we put a face on this phone next person, the better. Yeah, I wanna know who he is and what's he planning to do that included burning a cornfield. Why did he do that? Someone is going to die, why am I not surprised? Alright, we got stuck. Here we got two playing case number 44 in Springfield. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!